Hello, Internet. Welcome back to the Blade Showcase for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And today, we're going to be looking at yet another Shield Hammer character. And this is going to be Finch, who is, as far as I can tell, the most unique out of the entire Shield Hammer class due to the forgetfulness motif that they're trying to go for with her. She's a very, very effective unit, and if your playstyle is just bashing people's faces in, she can do that for you. Or if your playstyle revolves around speeding up your orb building, then that is going to be Finch for you. She does a lot of things very well, and it's due to her gimmick. Her gimmick is that she's very forgetful, and that really culminates in this ability. Did I do that? This is a fantastic ability. It doesn't seem very impressive at first, but as you develop trust with Finch, and even at like, you know, level 4 that I'm at right now, but if you could take it to the max, it's a 20% chance to not deplete a recharge after a driver art and special. This is very, very important. Like, if you can build up to a level 4 blade combo special, it could happen, like, a 20% chance, 1 in 5, that you're going to forget that you used it, and then you can just do it again. It's really funny, and if you use this in conjunction with the uh, driver arts that have, um, like, additional damage. So let's just say, in a hypothetical scenario, you topple someone, and then you have an attack that does bonus damage on the topples. There's a very real chance that you can do this attack three times in a row before you have the cooldown again. It's very good. Not to mention that if you continue cancelling them with your chain attacks, as most drivers have the ability to do that, you actually can build up your meters really quickly. So, yeah, very, very quick, and there is also the ability Doesn't Ring a Bell. This can be very useful when you're playing post-game bosses, because you have a very high chance to reset recharges for enemy arts whenever you do a special. The thing about Finch, though, is that Finch's specials actually hit many times, and for each hit that you make, you get a chance to get that. So... Even right now, like, a, like even if I had a 40% chance, since they're all multi-hit attacks, you're guaranteed to get it to happen at least twice. It's very good. And although there's also Surprise, I actually don't know too much about Surprise attacks, but any additional damage for that would be pretty useful if you just want to have a strong start, or if you use Surprise attacks on lower levels enemies, and you can just get your, uh, you can just have the encounter over and out, over and done with. So, in terms of the actual specials, these are actually all pretty good, since they're not reliant on how much HP Finch does or doesn't have, because, again, you're the tank, you shouldn't be either below 30% or above 90% most of the time. Blast of Fresh Air is extremely useful, and again, used in conjunction with Did I Do That, you can actually realistically expect to finding yourself... Uh, spamming this attack several times. The affinity that you gain on even on level 1 may not seem like much, but the thing is though, if you're spamming this often, you can reach max affinity even without auxiliary core bonuses. It's quite nice, and it's good because it doesn't mean that Finch must mandatory... it's not mandatory to have Hunter's Chemistry, for example. And there's also Whoopsie Crazy, increases aggro drawn, always good. Always good to have increased aggro drawn. Of course, uh, that would also mean, like, you still need to have your um, auxiliary cores to sort of complement this, but it is nice to have that option. Uh, in terms of, like, you know, comparing it to Cassandra, who we also did a Blade showcase with, Finch is more on the side of attacking people than he is about, or than she is about um, maintaining aggro. But that being said, though, Finch does a very good job of it. And of course, there was Wake Up Whirl. Again, this is, since this is the level 3, you're actually going to be finding this very important when you do your level 3 um, blade combos when you're building your orbs, because when you have the topple, you have the increased damage, and that's always really nice to have. So, uh, in terms of the weapon, Currently, I'm using the Satellite Hammer. You can get this from the, uh, what is it called again? The Dilation Chip that you can get from killing the Artifice Ophion. Now, if you don't have that, Shining Star Chip also works very well. These are very good because you have a higher block rate. Of course, if you don't care about block rates as much, like, I'm personally using this on Mordag, so maybe it might be more advisable to use something like a, a Tachyon, or even a Moon Matter Chip, anything that would just increase the damage overall, because we're going to be attacking a lot with this particular character. Uh, either way, though, if you just want to have the higher block rate, then Dilation might be your endgame choice. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to do about it. Auxiliary cores are pretty standard. I only have one slot, which is Arts Aggro Boost 4. So, yeah, we have a lot of attacks being used. 
So most of the time, it's pretty easy to maintain the aggro, just by virtue of the fact that we'll be attacking often. In terms of the party, more or less what you'd expect on Modag, it's both of her cannon, both of her cannon blades, so it's Bridget and Aegeon. They synergize pretty well with Finch. Again, the whole point of Finch is to speed up your attacks and speed up your elemental or building. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead, cut the video, and I will take you guys to the demonstration. Alright, so here we are at Tantal. We're gonna go ahead and fight against Cloud C. Ken. This is a level 130 super boss, and in my mind, it's probably one of the easier ones in the game, just due to the fact that it's fairly easy to do driver combos. And we're going to be doing a lot of driver combos with this particular party. We have Poppy QT Pie on our team to quickly get some breaks for us. We also have, um,. Let's see, we also have Rex. We're not going to actually be focusing too much on building elemental orbs, even though I would recommend doing that most of the time. But it's just that I want to kind of create a little bit of a sandbag here to show what exactly is up with this. So as you probably just saw earlier, I actually had quite a few did, did I do that procs, which is always, always welcome in situations like this. So we're going to quickly, let's see. Yeah, lethal harpoons are really annoying attack, but again, we do, we do have a team heal on our team. And you know what? Let's see if we can get lucky right off the bat. If we can get a did, you, did I do that over here. So it doesn't ring a bell. Again, like you see over here, I'm hitting so many times that we have many opportunities for did I do that to actually happen. Sorry, not did I do that. Um, doesn't ring a bell to actually happen. So that's going to be very useful for us. Just because, again, against most super bosses, they have very annoying attacks. And you want to kind of make sure that you can reset those cooldowns as often as you can. Let's see over here. I think, yeah, this particular one's going to bring some aggro towards me, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. Let's go ahead and create a dark orb, since we're at it right now. We are currently missing a lightning bolt. That means that the most we're going to be able to have in terms of our orbs is going to be seven. And seven's going to be more than enough, though. Again, we're actually going to be doing quite a bit of damage. The pouch items, I just want to quickly mention what pouch items I'm using. Currently, it's going to be... Oh my goodness, how many... Oh, I was hoping we can get three in a row, uh, four in a row. That would have been hilarious. Now, apparently, the um, items that we're using right now are going to be the Plumber Escape game to increase the damage of my arts. That's good, Or, yeah, the damage and the effectiveness of my arts. We definitely want to have that over here. Now, okay, we have a break. We're going to get a topple, but I'm hoping they can follow that up with a launch because Aegeon and all the Chroma Katanas have a smash and I would like very much to make use of that. But if not, then that's fine too. Rex wants to go ahead and use Dead of Winter, but I'd rather not use that. I'd rather just wait for um, for Finch to come back. So here we go, we're gonna give ourselves a topple. And let's see what we got here. Actually, this is going to be, again, like I said earlier, the level three combo does extra damage on the topple, but unfortunately I couldn't do it fast enough. So, uh, the launch ended up happening beforehand, but that's fine though. It's one more orb for our arsenal. Now, being a wind type, I can also build earth orbs and lightning orbs, but unfortunately we don't have a lightning element on our team. And wow, we also got a did I do that? So that's gonna be another. That's gonna be a free cyclone for us. How about we actually wait for the level four to happen, shall we? Here's my invincibility during the cloud breath, and we got another did I do that? Oh my goodness, the RNG is crazy right now. This is so exciting. Finch is just a very, very exciting, engaging character. So here we go. And <laughs> we got it again. Okay, so yeah, we didn't get another Did I Do That that time. But look at all those... D d um, doesn't ring a bell procs, though. That's really funny. Oh, it, it, it's, it's just a lot of fun to do. Okay, so that's that. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a Did I Do That on the... On the top, I, I should have probably used an abbreviation, because saying Did I Do That many, many times would be... Very difficult for me, but I think we're doing okay. And again, we're actually chunking this guy's HP fairly quickly as well. Let's see... Yeah, I can't get myself another one, so do you know what? We're gonna start building a water, if I can. That's fine. And here we go. Like, hopefully we have a good RNG. I can get ourselves this one. No, I suppose not. I suppose that would've been asking too much. Oh, it's extra damage for me. Again, like, it's very easy to build affinity with this. Okay, affinity and our meters for you know our our moves, just because just by virtue of did I do that? So there we go. There's some extra damage for us, and you know what? We're here, so yeah, we're gonna build our water right now. Ruinous weather. 
Right, so in terms of my other items for my pouch, I also have the Victory Smoothie because that tends to be the standard. In terms of my accessories for Morag, I've actually given her the Titanium Vest just because I like to have a little bit more HP. Even though she is a dodge tank, the thing is I've had more of an emphasis on on, um, on blocking in comparison, so that's kind of what I'm trying to go for here. Let's see, okay, if I go Water and then Tora should follow that up with Fire, right? Or hopefully Rex follows that up with Fire because that will become Steam, unless it did the timing wrong. You know what, that should be fine. Uh, we're gonna quickly switch over to Finch again, start building up meter really, really quickly. And, uh... Okay, so uh, that was my fault. I should have went fire first before going into the water. Let's see if we can build a Geon really quickly. Okay, switch into a Geon, and then... There we go. Venom water. And yeah, I know we already have a dark type, but that's the, that's the, um, that was my mistake there. So just go ahead, build a dark orb, and then we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to go straight into... probably straight back into Finch? Let's see. Because yeah, there's quite a few orbs that we can work on right now. And the funny thing about this boss is that he's so big that it can be very difficult to keep track of it. But the thing is, though, fire is actually relatively easy to build. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go into heat. And yeah, we have a topple, we can't capitalize that, unfortunately. We might not even need to worry about building all of that either, because look how much damage we're doing to this boss. Yeah, give me some did I do that, come on. It's very it's a very exciting style of play for this particular enemy. I can get the blow down, but I also Oh, I'm, okay, I thought that I could be shielded the entire time. This is the most annoying attack that Cloud C King Ken has just due to the fact that he's going to displace everyone. Oh, here we go. Here's a chain. Yes. It's, al it's always very exciting. Never gets old to see a Mountain Crusher be used like three times in a row. But that I think that was like the highest I've ever gotten. I'm pretty sure if I had it maxed out for the 20% chance of it happening, it probably would have been even higher. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and build ice. Yeah, okay, so going to take advantage of this topple. And we're going to do two levels of... No, no, we're only going to do the one level, and then, yeah, Tora's going to switch. Tora, again, has the Poppy QT build, uh, which is crit. Yeah, the crit heal build. So he's going to build up his meters really, really quickly. And in the meantime, I'm just going to mess around with this. I would like very much to get my topple. Nice. Aw. Yeah, the, one of the the drawbacks to having Poppy QT on this team is the fact that I would like to get the bonus damage from the topples, but uh, since that didn't happen... Ooh, we get another proc, though. Since that didn't happen, I won't be able to get it as quickly. Okay, you know what? We're... Yeah, we were a little bit slow to that one, so let's go ahead and try again for ice. If this fails a second time, just due to the... Uh, the RNG and the guesswork that the AI has. I'm going to actually go try fire into water. Oh, sorry, I'm targeting the wrong guy. My goodness, there's so many of them. Okay, uh, that didn't work, so okay, you want fire first. Fire into water. Alright, we already have the heat, but I I'm not too worried about being CC'd like this just because it's very easy to build up the meters due to our victory smoothie. Alrighty. Yeah, if I can get a team heal, that would be nice. But unfortunately, Tora is going to be a little out of business right now. Okay. So, yeah, we, we should have more than enough time to build this up. Victory smoothie is going to kick in. Come through for me. Uh-oh. That's not what he wants. Okay, well, we're getting extensions. Hopefully we'll get the topple. Extend for me. There we go. And, yeah, okay, just in time. And we're going to get the diamond vest. Cool. Give ourselves a steam bomb launch. And here comes the diamond vest. Perfect. I'm trying to think of other ones that we're missing. Like, there's a lot of them. We already have fire, don't we? Or maybe we don't have fire. Maybe that's the one that we're missing right now. Like, it's really hard to tell because again he's so big I can't see can't see what he's about. Uh oh wait wait topple topple. 
Oh my goodness, it was the uh Okay, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to deal with this guy. Cause yeah, he's uh, I'm getting shackled quite often. There we go. All right. One of the other nice things too about Finch and really any of the shield hammers is that they all have an AOE aggro. So when you're fighting in encounters with a lot of adds, then it can be very helpful for the for the tank. There we go. So Cloud Sea King can come on, topple. Ah, oh, it was so slow that time. Okay, I haven't. Sorry if I'm not keeping too much attention to this. I'm pretty sure I should have. Well, if not, we'll go ahead and build ourselves a sandstorm. Cause why not? Okay, so here's that. Give yourself a topple. Oh, and we get some. Did I do that? Yes. Here's that damage. Alrighty. Yeah, like, we we didn't even have to worry about yeah the orbs that much. Even though I was like keeping track of it in my head, I actually didn't need it that much just due to the fact that we're doing so much damage. It's crazy. That's the really funny thing about Finch is that yeah you're primarily a tank. More so than, say, I don't know, like Percival and the Geon, for example. But then, when you actually combine all of their abilities uh, with uh, with Finch, it's very effective. So here we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a switch. Oh, yeah, okay, then we'll have Pyra or Mithra up on the field. Oh, he's Boreas right now. Okay, the best way to prompt... To, uh, also, a little bit of a tip, if you want to prompt... Pyra or Mithra and you're not playing as Rex, then switch into a fire type. Switch into a fire type and they should follow that up. Unfortunately, he went into a dark type, so as if to contradict my words. But that's usually what works for me though. I would usually uh, yeah, go into a fire type and then start the combo. The reason why is because the wind was there. Alright, so there's the topple. And we're gonna go ahead and have Mithra come into play. And here she comes. So yeah, that basically does it for, uh, per, for what's his name, fin her name, it's actually a girl, Finch. Finch is one of the most exciting tanks to play as, due to the fact that it's all about that RNG. So you always have to be looking at yourself, and then if you see did I do that, then you just go ahead and feel free to cancel back into that same special over and over again. You can build that meter really, really quickly. It's, um, it's a lot of fun, it's a very nice, fun twist on the old tanking formula, and it keeps the experience fresh every single time, because you'll never know, it might be the first cast, or the second cast, like, when that procs. And of course you get the other options with the specials, they all are all very good specials, really, like, he doesn't ha she doesn't have a bad blade special, in my opinion. They're all extremely useful in their own way. So that's Finch. I'd say that Finch is one of the better shield hammers in the game in comparison to, say, Cassandra and Godfrey. And if you guys end up getting this one early on in the game, then congratulations, because it, it's, it's just a very unique flavor to the game, I find. And I would personally recommend it on Modag, but I'm pretty sure it would work just as well on other characters too. So that's going to be it for the showcase. That is a Sea King Ken down, and ooh, a Moon Matter chip. These are very good if you want to have a crit build. Definitely get the Moon Matter chip on, say, Mithra, for example. But anyways, guys, thanks for joining me on the showcase. That battle was a little bit lengthy, but had a lot of fun. It really gets, like, even with Finch, it felt like it didn't even take very much time at all. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today, you guys, and I hope to see you guys at the next Blade Showcase. I know who it is, and I hope you guys look forward to it. Take care, everyone.